Hey hello YouTube, this is I. So this time I'm going to show you how you can get a PV5150 style high gain distortion sounds using Cubase Duck plugins. I'm using GTR amp for the cabinet, but you can also use impulses and for example Cubase come with reverence that is an impulse loader. So you just go to import and then you go and download some free impulses and use that instead. All right, let's take it off and let's check out tone that we have. So I'm using the Nicro uh, 7170 for the for the 5150 tone. Okay, that is the tone that we have, and I'm not going to focus on the other plugins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this track and this is the Cubase and I'm going to take Necro off. Uh, this was just actually just the default settings that comes when you open the plugin. So I'm going to aim for that and we'll mute that track for now. And what we have without the plugin sounds like this. So the DS brings out a bit of distortion. And as you saw, I have the amp turned off on the GTR, so it's just working as a cabinet sim. Okay, so what we start with is that we select the distortion that comes stuck with Cubase. Uh, let's turn the tone to max, feedback to zero and boost to about five. So now we have similar boost, so halfway. So let's check how it sounds. Okay, it's a bit quieter, so let's just turn it up just a bit. Okay, as we see, this one doesn't have any tonal controls, but it's just a distortion. So let's add an EQ after and let's use the stock EQ, which is the studio EQ. So let's just use a high shelf and well, you know, it is not one to one exactly the same, so let's try to boost it just a bit more. But it's like close enough considering that it's just, you know, two plugins. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make new videos every week. And thank you for watching and make good music.